okay guys let's start so it's seven five if people want to join they can join further but i don't want you guys who are on time their time should be wasted so guys my name is vismay good evening all of you thank you so much for making for this free webinar on uh, basic excel uh, let's have some thumb rules before we start a webinar this uh, webinar would be conducted in english and if you have any questions when i am explaining or when one of any functions or formula has been explained you can unmute yourself and ask me questions there and there itself i would be more than happy to answer all your questions and the last but not the least i am using a free version of zoom meetings so this version gets disconnected after 40 minutes so we would have two session of 40 40 minutes so once we get disconnected on the first session i request you all to join with the same meeting id and we can continue with our sessions okay any questions till now you can unmute and say okay it's not that i will only talk this is a interactive session where you can also talk okay. so let's begin uh, my name is vismay i am a sales operations or a business operations head working with many of the payment companies currently due to lockdown i am at home but i used to train people uh, previously also so i thought why not spread this knowledge to all the professionals who are actually looking for it and that to we of first i'll i'll make sure or i guarantee you that after attending this webinar this free webinar you would understand almost 60% of basic excel okay these these functions or these formula which i'm going to explain you today is the 60% of excel which is used in day in day out of the office or in your personal life as well okay so let's first start what is an excel okay excel is nothing but it is a combination of all the spreadsheets which is developed by microsoft mr bill gates and it has been developed for operating system such as windows mac android or ios okay excel is a form or is a part of microsoft office suite software if you are, if you know that microsoft office suite also has ms word ms powerpoint ms access ms outlook so ms excel is also one a part of it okay in excel what you can do you can uh, features calculation use graphical tools show data in a pivot tables and many more analytical tools are present in excel okay in excel you can work with numbers text formulas pictures dates and time okay if you have very good understanding about excel this can be very useful in your professional as well as in your personal life okay where you can maintain a grocery list a monthly budget if you are working in a financial company or a banks you can maintain for company's financial statement and stock management also okay this is a just brief about excel there is no definition for excel as such and no one is going to ask you okay so what does excel consist okay if you go to file when you open a excel i am using a 2016 version of excel on a macbook that doesn't make any difference if you have a windows laptop or a windows desktop and you have any excel version from 2010 till 2019 all the versions are one and the same okay just few changes cosmetic changes here and there rest everything remains the same okay so when you open a excel you will go to file and there is a option called as new from templates okay in windows if you see new there would be such templates opening okay these are inbuilt templates by excel itself if you want to work directly by just putting the numbers okay so if you want to manage your money if you have personal budget family budget credit card payoff calculator everything is there uh, in excel templates okay if you want to use this but my suggestion is don't use this because there are complex formulas in templates which we don't understand if we start working on it next is the top row of excel are called tabs so home insert draw page layout this top rows is called tab okay t a b tab okay below tabs if you click on tabs this row this below row is are called groups oh, sorry are called ribbons so below tabs there are ribbons and inside the ribbons if you see this small thin line vertical line this divide this part from this part is called groups so these are tabs these are ribbons and these are groups so this this group is for formatting this group is for alignment this group is to merge cell or wrap text this group is to change the format of the cell and so on okay any questions till now 
if you have any questions you can put it on chat box also okay guys no no correct thank you so uh, as i said excel is a combination of spreadsheet so what are spreadsheet okay spreadsheet are these sheets which i have made these sheets are called as spreadsheet or they are also called as worksheets okay combination of all the worksheets or spreadsheets in an excel make a workbook a workbook is nothing but this excel one file is called a workbook okay now what is this spreadsheet made up of spreadsheet can be added by just right clicking on the existing sheet and you can say insert a sheet you can also delete a sheet you can rename a sheet if you want to just rename it to something else you can rename a sheet you can also change the color of this uh, worksheet if you want to so the, this how, this is the way you can play with your worksheet you can add n number of worksheet in a one particular workbook there is no limit to adding a worksheet okay now let's understand what is a worksheet made up of okay worksheet is always made up of columns which are vertical okay and which always starts with alpha alphabets that is a b and it goes up till x f d so when you reach z it start with see when when you reach z it start with a a again and doing that it reach up to x f d okay so you have more than 65500 columns in a worksheet and excel also consist of rows which are horizontal so these are rows which are horizontal you have more than million rows okay it's, it's more than a million rows in excel so a worksheet consist of columns which are vertical starting from a b c d and rows which are horizontal starting from 1 2 3 4 okay so whenever a column and a row intersects each other so here is where the column and the row is intersecting each other this particular thing is called a cell okay this particular thing is called a cell and every cell has its unique name so as we guys have as we human beings have its name every cell also has its unique name so what is the name name always consists of the column number column name and the row name so if i select this cell you can see the column name is b and the row name is 2 so this cell name is called as b2 okay so all these things are called cells if i click anywhere if i click on this cell the column number is d and the row number is 13 so the cell name is d13 you can see right at the left hand side top corner okay so you understood what are columns what are rows what are cells and what are cell names okay now let's understand what is called what is a cell range or a data range okay if you select particular set of cells vertically or horizontally or multiplicate these are called cell range suppose now i am selecting from f11 to f16 f11 to f16 f is the column row number 11 till row number 16 i have selected all the cells at one go how to select that just click left button on your mouse and drag it till the cell you want to select it okay this is vertical selection of cell range this can also be called as data range and the other one is horizontal which i'm sorry which starts from h11 to k11 so i have selected from h11 to k11 so this is also called as cell range cell range is always divided with a semicolon in between so excel understand that you are selecting from one cell to another cell this is also one more type of cell which is h13 to k16 i have started from h13 and i have ended till k16 okay so this is how you can uh, select call a cell range okay anyone from the group who will tell me what is this cell range okay anyone from the group come on guys it's a interactive session let's not keep it a one way session where you will get bored at some some way or the other चार्ट में मीट होता है हेलो हेलो यान दी पुनी व्हाट आई एम टू से यस आई एम ट्राइंग टू से दैट दैट वेयर द वेयर द टू लाइंस व्हेन द रोस एंड कॉलम मीट हां सो टेल मी व्हाट इज द फर्स्ट सेल नेम सेल नेम दिस वुड बी एफ19 राइट एफ19 सो इट इज स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम एफ19 एंड इट इज गोइंग टिल this cell so that is i25 i25 that's absolutely right. 
so the cell range here is f19 to i25 okay so this cell range is very important to understand because this is what we are going to use in all our functions in excel you will understand how these functions work using this cell range okay thank you nipun thank you akshat thank you sir so let's move on to the next thing in excel which is called as cut copy paste and undo and redo we are going step by step so we are increasing uh lecture step by step so we know what are excel we know what are columns rows cells cell name now let's understand very basic thing in excel that is cut copy paste so suppose i have this table and these are names of the student and suppose the age of all these student is 29 okay and i don't want to type 29 29 29 29 all way to the bottom okay the data would be too long i am just giving you an example that's the reason i am only entry still five, i have only five entries but you, whenever you are working in excel you would be working in a huge data so when i want to type 29 everywhere instead of typing it excel has given us a shortcut call as copy and paste so i'm copying this particular text in b2 and i'll paste it till the bottom till renuka jadav that is still b6 so how can i do it i have to go to that cell which i need to copy it okay i'll go to home tab and below home tab in this ribbon you can see two pages icon if you take a mouse on there over there it says copy so i'll click on copy a blinking line will appear on that cell i'll select the entire cells which i where i need to paste it paste this 29 and again i go to home and say paste so this copied value is been pasted till down this can be also done using a shortcut let's see how to do using a shortcut but i want to undo all the work which i have just done so undo means you reverse the work which you have done you don't want that work to be happening so i'll say control plus z on your keyboard and it gets undo again control plus z so it goes undo 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 so these the entries which you have made is been removed okay now see i want to copy this using a keyboard so to copy using a keyboard the shortcut is control plus c and to paste it using a keyboard the keyboard the shortcut is control plus v so this is the way you can uh, copy and paste it okay similarly to cut a particular data suppose uh, ravi kumar in front of ravi kumar that is uh, gender written as female which is incorrect i need to cut this and paste it in front of priya party so what you can do one way of doing is uh, selecting this female by going to home and selecting by using cut the scissor icon once i press the scissor icon you can see a blinking line appear it so this data has been selected now i want to paste it over here i'll go again to here and simply say paste okay so whenever you are doing a cut the value in the previous cell is been deleted and pasted in the new destination as defined by you but whenever you are saying a copy the value in the previous cell gets duplicated okay so this is the difference between cut and copy paste does the same thing okay now i want to do it using a keyboard so i simply say undo control z and i'll come over here i'll say control plus x to cut it and here control plus v to paste it i'll again say control plus c to copy this and paste it over here okay cut copy paste also plays a very important role in excel because day in day out you are going to use this when you when you are going to paste all the formulas okay now cut copy paste doesn't only work with these cells okay you can copy the entire column as well cut it uh, select the entire column cut it and paste it anywhere select the entire column cut cut it and paste it anywhere select the entire column cut it and paste it anywhere similarly you can select the entire table cut it and paste it anywhere okay so it doesn't means that you can only uh, cut copy a particular cell you can cut copy columns rows multiple cells together as well okay now we know what is undo we also should know what is redo okay suppose i type something in excel i delete this i say undo when i say redo control plus y it again deleted so what i did i re redone my previous activity undo is i said i don't want to do that previous activity so that is a difference between undo and redo okay any questions in this till now guys now we are going to functions and formulas any question till no, now sir. great no, so should, should no. great great 
so let's understand anyone in the group uh, know what is a function and what is the difference between a function and a formula anyone no, Deepak, your voice is not coming properly. I think there is some disturbance where you are there. Your mic is not properly set up. Yes, sir. Uh, is problem also not this. Yes, yeah. yes. So, do you have any questions? Or I'm just asking you, do you know what is the difference between a function or a formula? When uh, do we... No idea. Okay, so when do we say in Excel that this can be done... Nipun, do you have any idea? No. Okay, good. Let me explain. Uh, a formula is always user defined and a function is always Excel defined. It's predefined. Okay. So you can do, you can get same result using a formula and using a function. Okay. So let's understand what, uh, how you can get the answer using a formula and how you can get an answer using a function. Okay. So suppose this is the table where I have employee names. These are the money, volume of business these employees are doing for week one, week two, week three and week four. Okay, now I want the total number of business done by these employees. Okay, so how do you do this using a formula? And I'll also show you how do you do this using a function. Okay, so using a formula, as I said, formula is user defined. So I'll say equal to first where I need the desired result. I'll select this cell week one that is B4. I'll say plus sign. Plus sign is uh, left hand side of your delete button. Use a shift key and that button. So plus again C4, again D4, again E4. Okay. So I have I have defined a formula to Excel that Excel equal to and select all this cell and add them. How am I defining add it? By simply putting an additional sign, Excel understand that this user needs to add all these values in this cell. And I press enter, I get the answer. And I simply copy this and I paste it till the end of the data series where I want the answer of. Similarly, this can be done using a function also. So, function to do addition in uh, Excel is sum, S U M sum. So this is a predefined function by Excel, which you can't change it. Excel has already defined that if you want to add something, you can use a function called as sum. Okay. I say sum the open bracket and I simply select the entire cell range starting from B14 to E14. We understood what are cell range. We understood what are data ranges. Okay. So I've selected the entire cell range from B14 to E14 and I close bracket. If you observe this two cells, has been divided or has been separated with a semicolon. That means you have to select cell from B14 to E14 and I simply press enter. Okay. Now you can see the answer using a formula and the result using a function is one and the same thing. But using a function is very easy where you have to just type the function and select the cells rather than uh, using a formula where you have to select cell one by one. Okay, now I'll copy this function and paste it. Okay, so I'm getting the same answer as I was getting using a formula. Okay, now let's move on to the next example where I want the volume of business done for week one and week three. So week one is column B, week three is column D. I want it using a formula. So it's simple equal to B4 plus d4 week 3 is d4 enter similarly for week 2 and week 4 it's equal to week 2 is c4 and uh, week 4 is e4 okay so i've got the answer i just copy this you can copy both the cells together and you can come down and paste it okay as i told you you can copy uh, multiple cells together also it's not necessary you have to copy single single cell now let's try to find out the same thing using a function now here we used a function with a continuous b14 to e14 now here when you are trying to do it by week one and week three you can't use a data range from week one to week three so how can you do this you simply say sum open bracket select the week one cell and separate it with a comma Okay, when, once you press comma, Excel is asking you to enter the second number. 
so the second number is in d14 and close bracket similarly for week 2 and week 3 it would be sum open bracket week 2 is in c14 and week 4 is in e14 okay so you see you get the same answer using a function also i simply copy this and paste it till down any questions in functions some functions and some formula any questions in uh, functions or formula if you want any explanation again no great should i move on okay let's move on so let's understand uh, the same thing in a multiplication so in excel you can use multiplication using a formula as well as using a function so in excel for multiplication the function is called as product function okay suppose i want to multiply the height width and the length and i so that i get the total volume of that 3d figure i have to multiply the height width and the length this can be done using a formula that is simple select the first cell then to multiply the sign in excel is asterisk okay asterisk is the eight number eight key on your keyboard press the shift button and press number eight key you will get an asterisk select the second cell and select the third cell so you have multiplied all the three columns together copy this and paste it okay similarly you can do this product formula using a product function so the function as i said it is product p o r d u c t open bracket and simply select all the data range and close bracket this can be also done sorry this can be also done using different different cells separating by comma comma com and close bracket okay so the answer will remain the same as we got using a formula okay now let's understand how to do a division in excel using a formula and using a function okay so using a formula i have a data where i have product name total cost and i have the units of those i want the per unit cost so to get the per unit cost i need to divide the total cost upon the number of units purchased so equal to this is the total cost i uh, incurred for buying mobile phones and how many mobile phones i bought so this backslash is the sign for division in excel you will you will get this backslash uh, on the left hand side of your shift button on your right shift button backslash total units purchase so the per uh, cost of this product is 999 we'll just copy this and paste it okay so i get Uh, for tablets, the per unit cost is fourteen thousand nine ninety nine. Laptop twenty nine thousand nine ninety nine. This can also be done using a function. So division function is called quotient. So equal to Q U O. You can see quotient. And first, after opening the packet, is asking the numerator. Uh, numer numerator that is the highest value. Comma. Now it is asking the denominator. that is the uh, number on which by which you want to divide it and close the bracket and close the bracket you will get the same answer okay quotient function doesn't work by selecting a data range it is always a numerator and a denominator so i'll just simply drag this formula down and you'll get the same answer which you got using a formula guys any questions in product and division of question no sir yeah, thank you deepak now let's move on to the next example where we would understand how to uh, calculate an average how to calculate an percentage using a formula and how to calculate arshad which thing you want me to repeat the question part okay good so uh, you hope you understood how did i uh, got the per unit cost using a formula where i just divided the total cost incurred to buy that particular product upon number of product purchased by me that is 999 okay similarly i need to find that using a 
function so function to do find a division or to do a division in excel is quotient that is q u o i e n t open bracket now it is asking me for the numerator first numerator is the total cost the highest value when you are dividing something you should keep the highest value at the top and the lowest value at the bottom this we have learned in our school days also so the numerator here is the total cost incurred by me to purchase number of mobile phones and divide by how the denominator denominator is the total number of units i have purchased so i have purchased 14 units for uh, 1,39,986 so i want to find the per unit cost and i close the bracket i'm sorry i didn't i should not use this division division is always used in uh, formula so i simply say comma so numerator comma the denominator and i get the same answer okay arshad hope i was able to answer your question no problem arshad you are most welcome okay now let's move on to the next example uh, where we will understand how to calculate average how to calculate percentage using a formula and how to calculate percentage with the inbuilt function in excel okay Sorry. average average also as a inbuilt function let's first try average formula so this is formula and this is function okay let's first understand how do we calculate average using a formula this is the same way you do it on a calculator okay if you want to find the average of a particular thing what you do you add all the things and divide it by number of units you have okay so the example what i've got is i have the student name i have the marks achieved in this subjects and these are total marks okay now i need to calculate the average of these students what is the average marks got by these students let's first calculate using a formula i'll say equal to i'll open bracket i'll first add all the four values as i uh, showed you how to add the four values now first what i'm doing i'm adding the four values divided with four because i have four subjects so that's the reason once you add all the uh, marks achieved by these student in these four subjects divide by four okay and when you enter you will get an average copy this and paste it this is the similar way we do it on a calculator or we would do it on a paper okay now instead of doing this lengthy process what you can do you can simply type in a uh, function call as average average open bracket and select all these cells at one go that is from b41 is to e41 and close the bracket you will get the same answer so average function or any function in excel would really ease your work okay rather than putting in the formulas any questions in average guys uh mohammed yes you will get the recording i'll i'll share you the recording but guys i don't have your mobile number so please ping me your mobile numbers on my whatsapp number so that i can say, share you the recording of today's webinar i'll also share you the uh, practice excel also okay so don't worry about that okay now let's understand how to calculate a percentage so percentage calculating a formula is as uh, good as what we do on a calculator so how to calculate a percentage these are the total marks achieved by this student mr uh, rohit upon upon is divided by 400 Why four hundred? Can anyone tell me for why four hundred? Because all these papers are 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 of hundred marks each. So English hundred, Hindi hundred, Marathi hundred, and Maths hundred. So these marks are out of four hundred. So I am dividing it by four hundred into one hundred because I want to know the percentage of this person. Into hundred will give me the percentage. आपके सेंटर या या दीपक या दीपक एक्चुअली आई फ्रॉम कर्नाटक व्हाट यू आर एक्चुअली डूइंग इज लाइक फॉर सिक्स सब्जेक्ट्स फाइव सब्जेक्ट्स लाइक कंसीडरिंग हंड्रेड सो लोकल लोकल लैंग्वेज कंसीडर हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव मार्क्स सो हाउ वी नीड टू डू सो नो आई डिड नॉट योर क्वेश्चन ओनली बिकॉज़ योर वॉइस इज नॉट क्लियर कैन यू हियर मी सर नाउ इट्स नाउ इट्स ऑडिबल या 
see in karnataka sir what they are doing in education like if you are having six subjects uh-huh. five subjects they are considering 100 100 it's 500 uh-huh. right so local language like kannada they are considering 125 marks out of 100 125 so how we need to calculate sir so total marks is 125 total means kannada subject for kannada language uh-huh. they considering 125 So your total Hello? marks instead of four hundred, your total marks will change, right? Six twenty five. Six twenty five. Six twenty five. So you can six subject. Yeah. So you can simply get six twenty five. Or what you can do? Okay, okay. You, you can uh-huh. add a you can add a total go over here where I've said total uh-huh. this this paper is hundred okay. marks. This paper is hundred uh-huh. marks. This is hundred marks, and this is hundred marks. Assuming your Kannada okay. language is also here, so okay. This is just a sample of hundred marks. Okay, your paper can be okay, any okay, marks okay. as per your school, and I'm adding this. Okay. i will add mm-hmm. this total that comes to 400, 400. okay 400. when i am calculating a percentage what i'll do mm-hmm. i'll say total marks achieved by this student divide mm-hmm. by this cell okay that is the total um, cell into 100 okay. so here your figure can be anything mm-hmm. that can be 625 or 500 or anything as per the mm-hmm. marks of the paper you have in your school or wherever you want to calculate and okay okay sir So we'll get I got it. Concept. Thank you. Okay. So, but remember you, now. Remember now when I am copying this formula and pasting it below, and mm-hmm. if I say F two, you see this four hundred has been moved to this cell, which was supposed to be selecting four hundred. That is F fifty mm-hmm. is now moved to F fifty one. So in order. Yeah, we need to lock that cell. Exactly. So in order to fix this cell, this cell should move, but this F fifty should not move. What you should fixed. do, you should, should you should fix it by just uh, putting a dollar sign dollar. in front of the column name and putting a dollar sign in front of the row name. So this particular okay. F fifty cell would be fixed. I copy this, okay, and then I paste it. Okay. okay sir. Any questions, thank guys? You. Thank you, thank you, Deepak. Okay, so this was using a formula. Okay, now let's understand how to do. Uh, this. Sir, please, uh, sir, please uh, repeat how I log a cell. Lock the cell. Okay, I'll tell you. Okay, so when you don't lock this cell, okay, Nabil, when you don't okay. lock this cell, when you copy this formula and paste it below, this cell yeah. would move over here, which ideally should not move. We want that to be divided by four hundred only. So in order to lock this cell, what you need to do is, first assuming that this cell is not locked, okay, what you need to do is you have to go to this cell. You have to click on this cell. Okay, or you can simp and you can press F four on your keyboard. F four. Okay, so a dollar sign would appear in front of a column, and in front of the row name. F is the column name, and fifty is the row name. So dollar sign will appear, and simply say okay. Okay, so this okay. copy okay. this and paste it till the down. Your formula would be pasted. Guys, we have reached forty minutes. Let's uh, disconnect over here and connect in two minutes. Okay, guys. Okay. Okay. Yeah.
Nabil, hope you understood how to fix it. Or you want me to explain you again? Uh, yes, sir. I uh, am clear now. You are clear now. Okay. If you have any doubts, please don't hesitate to ask me again and again. I will explain you thousand times if you want. Okay. Uh, I put. Uh, I I just use the key F four or put manual. Ah, you can either use the F four key, which is the shortcut to fix the cell, or you can manually uh, type dollar or or before the column name and before the row name. Okay. You can do it both the ways. Okay. Now let's understand how to get a percentage with the percentage sign. Okay. Now if you see, you don't have a percentage sign over here. If you want that percentage sign to be appearing, let's understand how to do it. So these steps remain the same. That is the total marks divided by uh, the uh, total marks of the paper. So Nadi Nabil, see here after I selecting this F fifty, I'll simply press F four on my keyboard. So dollar sign would be automatically uh, being appeared before the column name and the row name, and I say enter. Now when I say enter, I'll copy this and paste it till the bottom. Okay, I've copied all this and pasted it till the bottom. Now I'll go to Home tab, and below that Home tab, in this particular ribbon, you have a group over here where you can change the format of the cell. I select this percentage style, and now you see. A percentage style is being uh, given to this particular cells, and now you can increase the decimals by clicking on this increase decimal, or you can decrease the decimals. The guys, keep your mute. Okay, so this is the way you can uh, calculate percentage. You can add or increase or decrease the decimal. You can put it in percentage style as well. Okay, any questions in this? Awesome. Okay, let's move on to the next example. Next example is very easy. Let's not waste time. This is as good as we do in our school time maths. So I want to understand how to do subtraction, how to do minus in Excel. So I have this example where I have the total income and total expenses. This you can also make for your personal budget file also. Okay, I made a video on budget file in my YouTube channel. You can go ahead and check that. So equal to sum. Select all the cell range. This is the total income. This is my total expenses for household groceries and bills. Now I want to understand what is the leftover amount that is seventy-five thousand minus. So minus sign is used, which is used almost everywhere for subtracting anything. Minus the lower amount that is B six, you will get the remainder amount, which is there. Okay. I don't think there would be any questions in this. Okay. Now let's move on to some uh, other functions. Okay. Now. Now let's understand what are count functions. Okay, count functions. There are many count functions, but these three functions are being used mostly in basic Excel. That's the reason I have covered these three functions in count. Okay, now let's understand what is count a, count. Uh, sorry, what is count? What is count a and what is count blank? Okay, now I have a data series where cell one, cell two, cell three, cell four, cell five. Let's let me enter some values. One, two, three, four, five. One and enter values over your data. Okay, now I am putting a function called as count. Open bracket. I am selecting the entire data series. Okay, so I have put a function called as count. Open bracket. I have selected the entire data series and I close the bracket. What is the answer I got? The answer I got is five. So what the Excel has done? Excel has counted the cells one, two, three, four, five. Now let's play with this. Okay, suppose I delete the value in the last cell. So now the answer has changed to four. Let's delete the value in the third cell. Now the answer has moved to three because there is only one, two, three cells filled. These two cells are kept as black. Now let's put a uh, word num three. Okay, now let's uh, observe over here whether anything is getting changed. Okay, in F four, I say three, and I press enter. This value has not changed. Okay, now I say five. Now I say five, and press enter. This value has again not changed. Okay, 
now suppose if i say number 3 this value has changed to 4 i say number 5 this value has changed to 5 so any any observation any uh, observations after using a count function okay count text. function count function yeah deepak you are saying something go ahead no no text it not count right text right you are absolutely right so count function only counts the numeric value it doesn't counts the text value it doesn't count the alphabetical value in order to count the alphabetical value what you can use is okay i'll simply copy this and paste it over here and now let's do this do the same thing using a count a function a stands for alphabetics okay open bracket and i select all the data series and i close bracket okay now the answer what i'm getting is 5 okay now i delete this answer i'm getting is 4 i delete this answer i'm getting is 3 now i'm typing 4 okay f o u r 4 this answer has changed to 4 okay now i'm typing 5 this answer has changed to 5 okay so if you want to count only the numeric values in a particular data series you can use a function called as count but if you want to count the numeric as well as the text values in a data series you have to use a function called as count a okay now what does count blank does as the name suggests it will only count the blank values okay now suppose i don't have any values in this data range and i use the function called as count blank and open bracket and i select this series and close bracket the answer you will get is 5 because all the five cells are empty if i say if i put anything put any value over here 5 for so three cells are empty so it is giving me 3 as the answer if i delete all this it is again giving me 5 as the result got it guys no it won't yes sir alsha uh, it won't count the space okay let let's try if i say space it is still counting because it is, it is a text so a space a dollar a hyphen anything is been counted in count a okay akshat let's move on to the next function that is a length and a trim function so le what let's understand what the hello yes sir hello okay let's understand what is a length function and what is a trim function okay suppose this is my whole name this is my full name this is my vijay gane but i have some spaces in between after the first name there is one two three spaces in between after the middle name there is one two three four four spaces in between now after the last name there is one two three four five six seven eight nine nine spaces okay now i want to count of the uh, characters in this particular cells so how do we count the length of the character so the function used to count the length of the character is len l e n open bracket select the cell which of which you want to count the length of and close the bracket and you know understand what is the length of the characters is also count the space let's play with this let's delete some spaces if i delete 1 2 3 4 5 spaces the answer has changed to 26 if i am adding some spaces 1 2 3 4 5 the answer would be 30 so if you want to count the length of the character in a particular cell you can simply use a function called as len okay similarly I, if i want to remove the unnecessary spaces after the first name middle name and the last name i don't want the unnecessary spaces let me first check what is the length of this cell here it is 22 here it is 24 and here it is 23 i don't want these unnecessary spaces if you want to remove these spaces the function is trim as the word suggests it will trim all the spaces which are not required in this cell select the cell and close bracket now you can see all the cells have been aligned properly now let's see what is the length after trimming this okay the length after trimming has reduced to 17 17 17 okay so this is how a length and a trim function goes hand in hand any questions in this no sir okay so upper case lower case and proper case as the word suggests if you have any values in smaller case and want to move them in upper case in capital letters you can simply use upper case upper and close bracket all will be moved to upper case just copy that function and paste it if you want to move this 
upper values in lower case just type lower select that value and all the capital would be moved to lower case similarly if you have values which have mixed and you want them in proper case where the first letter is capital rest everything is small again a space after space any letter appears it would be in capital so you have to use proper case upper lower and proper if i say proper and select the text you see v is capital and r is capital rest everything is small this is the difference between a upper case lower case and a proper case okay these are specially used when you are formatting something okay now let's understand what is the right and left functions okay if you have a data and you want to uh, remove if, if you want the some right values uh, starting from the right side of the text how do you do it you can do it using a right function suppose i have a data where it is mumbai comma city uh, gmail.com and this is a pin code i want to uh, get this city out of this mumbai or i want to know what are the right four characters in these text so how you can do this you can simply write right when you say right when you open the bracket it ask you to select the text and after comma it ask you how many characters do you want it from right so when you say right the characters would be counted from this side this is our right hand side okay so if i say uh, four so y t i c these four characters would be shown over here okay so this four characters would be shown over here if i copy this and paste it you can see or uh, this dot is one character c is two o is three and m is four so these are four characters so i again copy and paste it so this double zero two eight is the four characters this you can use as per the requirement of your data if you want to retrieve the last three characters of the particular number or last two characters of a particular text you can use a right functions from right similarly left is exactly opposite what right does left will take these four characters from this side okay from your left hand side so this work exactly same instead of right you have to type left select the text from which you want to retrieve the uh, number characters and enter the characters you want to retrieve i want to retrieve only two characters and close the bracket okay m u x y and 20 so this is how a left and a right character works any questions before i move on to middle hello yeah deepak sir uh, i need a gmail only like uh, in dessert so from left side so how i need to only, you only need gmail right yes they are right right sir you, you don't need gmail.com no no only gmail okay so that can, that can be used uh, that can be uh, you know retrieve using a uh, middle for function that's the reason okay, i don't okay, okay. have any questions in my right okay okay sir so let's okay. understand this is the sentence sun is very bright now i want only sun to be appearing over here now i want sun here is here very here and bright here okay and as you said gmail over here okay deepak let's understand how to do it so how does this work this is mid the middle function the function is mid now after opening the bracket it is asking me to enter the text okay so i select the text first okay so i have done what excel has asked me to do and comma after the text it is asking me the start number the start number is from where do you want me to start counting that is what excel is asking you so let me see the from t from 5 i think yeah t th the th is 3 yes. then a space 4 and 5 right so you are five. Right. okay okay then it is asking me from fifth character how many characters you want i want s u n sun three characters so i'll get sun over here okay i got it similarly yeah. if i want is text if i want is so i'll start from these three letter of the this three letter of sun and two spaces so eight eight space eight characters are gone so i'll start from nine and i want two is okay similarly if i want very text three for this three for this uh, six two for this eight and three spaces 9 10 11 i start from 
12th character and I want four. See, this is how you can do it. And to get bright, what you can do instead of uh, getting, uh, putting mid function, you can simply say write. Write this and from write, I want one, two, three, four, five, six characters. So you will get bright. Okay. And as you say, how to get Gmail, this is similar as what we, we did earlier, equal to mid. Yes, I got it, sir. I got it. Select the text and this will start from one, two, three, four, five. And how many characters it is? One, two, three, four, five. Five. Okay. This is how you can uh, retrieve or extract a middle uh, character also using a mid function. Guys, any questions? Deepak, hope I am uh, able to answer your question. Yes, yes, correct. Thank correct. you. Thank you so much. Welcome, sir. Okay. Any questions? How should do we have any questions? So let's move on to the next functions that is maximum value and minimum value. Suppose you have a uh, sir, uh, uh, yeah, no. I am unable I am unable to color a cell now. Which cell? Any cell. Any of the cell in separate sheet. I didn't got your question. You are unable to select the cell as in select the cell uh, uh, not but I am I want to color a cell like yellow, red. Color. If you want to color a cell, you can just go on the yes. cell you want to color. Go to the home tab. Okay. Go to the home tab and you can see this paint icon. If you go here, take your mouse over here. Here you will come to know this is fill color. So you can select the colors you want to. So by selecting this uh, paint fill color, you will color the entire cell. By going to this A color, you can color only the font. Okay, this okay. is the way you can change the color of a font or of a cell. Okay, you can add a table against it by selecting this table. So I have, you can add a table against it. You can I also bold it, bold by clicking on bold. So it would be heavy. You can say italic and you can also say underline. So it gets underlined. This is how you can uh, edit your fonts, format your fonts. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So let's move on to the next function where you want to understand what is the maximum value or what is the minimum value. So in uh, easy language, what is the highest number and what is the lowest number? Okay. Suppose you have n number of data entries and you want to know what is the highest number in this data and what is the lowest number. You can simply uh, put in a formula called as max and min. So max is a function to know what is the highest value. I say max open bracket and I select the entire data series from A2 to A11. So highest value over here. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see is 100. Okay. So it should give me an answer 100. Lowest value over here is 10. I have uh, deliberately kept such numbers which is very easy to understand. That's the reason it's very easy. To get the lowest value, the function is min and select the entire data series. Now here, here the answer you will get is 10. This is very useful when you want to find the highest value in a huge data. Okay. Any questions guys still here? Before we move no. on to our next example or next function that is how to insert a table. Okay. Let's understand how to insert a table. Okay. Now suppose this is the data. But this data looks very plain if you don't have a uh, formatting around it. So it looks very plain. It doesn't look presentable. So what you can do, you can just simply select this data. Okay. Go to insert. Okay. And select this table option. Okay. I'll repeat once again. Select the entire data. Go to insert tab. Below insert tab in this particular group of ribbons where you have a table option select this table option now if you see where is the data for your table the data is from a1 fixed that is a1 till f11 we understood how to uh, read a cell range so both these cells are fixed yes and my data table has a header i have picked it so because my data table has a header that is serial name product name region so i'll say okay Okay. See a data is been a table is been formed automatically with the filters also on it. Okay. Now you can play with this table. Okay. Now I'll say 
uh, I want this uh, color of this table to be changed. So I'll click on this table. Remember to click on this table. If you don't, if you click anywhere else, you'll not get that table option. Okay. Click on this table anywhere. Okay. Then above in this tab, a table option will appear. Click on this table option. You can change the name of this table, say product table. If you want to change, you change it. If you don't want to, that's absolutely fine. It's your wish. Okay, then you can change the look and feel of this color table. You see, then when you click on this table, you can also add a total row. So below, I don't have the total cost. You can simply add a total row. So now see a total row has been added. And this total row, when you click on this total, this also gives you an option to average it, count it, max or min value. So you can select any of this. The max value is 4 lakh 74,000. So when you select, uh, if you select some, you will get the total of this sum. So this is the benefits of adding a table. Table like this is too bright. I'll just change the color. This looks good. Okay. So what are few options? There's a total row which you can add. You can also untick that. If you untick it, the uh, option goes off. But I'll keep this option. Okay. You can uh, add remove the filter options by clicking on over here. You can. Uh, select the first column, the sec you can bold the last column, you can uh, increase the band, bands is this color, okay, you can band columns also, alternate columns, you can unband the alternate rows, that is the colors, okay, band as in colors, so banded rows, it will color the alternate rows, banded columns, it will color the alternate columns, you can only keep banded columns also, this depends on your choice, okay, it's there is no hard and strict rule that it should be like that only. Okay, so this is the way you can make a table of a data. Now we understood how to make a table by going to insert and then pressing the table icon. Okay, this can be also done with a shortcut. Click on the data you have, then say control plus T on your keyboard. So it will select by default, select the data of which you want to make a table of say okay and you can again do whatever you want to okay else what you can do you can simply say uh, select table and you can make a table first okay and then add values over here suppose i have this values i copy this values and i paste it in over here so you can do this way also you can insert a table first and then add values to it. You can uh, have a data first and then make a table of that. So this is the way you can play with your table. Okay. Any questions in table guys? Sir, how to remove that uh, table, sir? Like we already converted into table. Uh -huh. So we also kaisa nikalna, sir? Already converted into table first box, no? Uh, so you go, to kaisa can... you go to, you click table. on the table. Okay, okay. okay. Go to Filter. Table. Okay, go to table and you uh, select this convert to a range ah, and okay 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 then you select this so and it will, it will give you a uh, reminder whether you want to do this or not you say yes i want uh, to do this so a table uh -huh. would be removed okay now it is a normal okay. it is a normal table now it is a normal okay. data range it is not a table anymore okay okay sir. it is not a table okay, anymore sir. if you click on this table the table option is gone okay, okay sir thank you sir Great. guys any questions Abdullah, please ping me on my WhatsApp number that is 919330983. So please ping me on my WhatsApp number to get this Excel, practice Excel, as well as this recording. And guys, please, uh, I'll give this recording after two, three days because I have a uh, hell lot of things to do after the webinars and before the webinars. Okay, guys, please understand. No problem, Abdullah. Uh, sir, excuse me, sir. Ah, Nabil, what up? Sir, what is the purpose of making a table on Excel? To look at to look at more presentable. Okay, it looks more presentable okay. than just giving the data this way. As you just asked me how to color a cell or how to give a color to a font, this is for that yes. only. In Excel, you have to present a data so that data should be okay. presentable. Okay, and other features are that you can add a sum or a average or anything by default the functions are being added by default and you can also change the look and feel of the data okay
Okay. Guys, let's move. Uh, thank you, Novil. Now let's move on to the very important function that is called if function. Okay, guys, be alert when I am teaching you this if function. If function is not a part of basic Excel, but my motto is to spread the knowledge as much as I can. So I am doing this of free of cost, and I give my whole heart to this free webinars also. So let's understand what is if function. No one in the market will teach you if function free of cost. Okay, but my motive is to not earn money, but to make people life easy in their professional as well as in their personal uh, career or in Excel. Okay, now let's understand what is if function. Okay, if function is a logical function given to an Excel to give a particular value if the logical function is true, and give a particular value if the logical function is false. Now let's understand in this first example what exactly it does that means. Now. In this first example, I need to find if values in column B, okay. Now values in column B is this is greater than values in column A, okay. That is values in column A. If B is greater than A, give me an answer yes, okay. If B column B is greater than A, give me an answer yes over here. If column A is greater than column B, then give me an answer no. This is what the logical test means. So let's understand how do we do this using a if function. This is very easy if I do it manually. Now column B, yes, column B is greater than uh, A. So this you have to do it manually. So instead of doing manually, let's put a if function. How do we do that? Equal to if. Now it is asking for the logical test. Now the logical test is what? If column B, so this is column B. So I'm selecting column B is greater than okay is greater than column a so i'm selecting column a so this is only the logical test so you first check whether column b is greater than column a comma after comma excel is asking me what if it is true that means what if this uh, logic test is true then give me display me an answer yes in inverted commas because that is a text comma now what if the answer is false if the answer is false say no close inverted comma and close bracket don't forget to close the bracket and don't forget to put the text in the inverted commas okay and enter this is no because column b is not greater than column a i copy this paste it this is no because these two are equal this is not greater than column a this is also no this is also this is yes because this is bigger than column a i simply copy this now let me change some figures 750 is of course greater than 701 so i got the answer yes uh, then uh, 350 is of course greater than 300 i got the answer yes 1002 is greater than 1001 i got the answer as yes now let's understand what i did what i did i said if column B that is column B value is greater than column A value comma after comma Excel asks me what if the answer is true if the logical test is true I simply say yes and if the logical test is false I simply say no I say comma I say copy it and paste it okay any questions over here No, sir. Okay, now let's move on to the next uh, example. This is also the same where earlier we said whether the column B was greater than column A. Now we are saying check whether the column A values are greater than column B. So anyone wants to try the if functions over here? How would be the if function? Anyone? Deepak, you want to give it a try? Yes, sir. If uh, A19. A19. Okay. Greater greater than. Uh huh. Then B nineteen. Absolutely right. Then comma. Okay. Uh, you know in this comma okay then Inverted yes. Codes, yes. Else, comma. Mm -hmm. Inverted comma. Mm -hmm. No. Great. 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 Deepak. Very good. Very good. So this is exactly what a function logic should be where 
check whether column A, that is column A, is greater than column B. This is column B. If yes, give him yes. If no, give him no. This yes or no can be anything. Okay, you decide. If you want to say yes, it is bigger. Whatever text you want to put in those inverted commas, it is your choice. Here I am choosing the easiest one, that is yes or no. So now this column A is greater than column B, so yes. Column A is greater than column B, so yes. Column A is greater than column B, so yes. Let's try to change this to thousand. Then it has changed to no. Deepak, thanks a lot. Wonderful answer. Any questions? Thanks to you, sir. No problem, Deepak. At your service. Any questions, guys? Great. Let's move on to the third example in if function before we move on, move on to nested if. Okay. This is the last example in if functions. Ask me questions if you don't understand. Now what we need to, what we need to get. Whenever you are using an if function, your logic should be clear. If your logic is clear, if function is like nothing. It's just like talking English or it is just like communicating with, with Excel. Okay. Now what it is? Salesman achieving 80% of his target. His target is 5 lakh. If his achievement is 80% of his target, he is eligible for incentive. So he should be written as eligible over here. If his achievement, this achievement is 80% of five lakhs. Okay. Now let's understand how to do this. Now first let us do a rough calculation. What is 80% of his target? 80% of his target is four lakhs. So he has not achieved. He is not eligible. He is eligible. He is eligible. He is not eligible. But we need to do hello. this using hello. Yes, uh, sir. How did you like calculate the eighty percent? Okay, you were not there uh, when I taught the function of percentage. Uh, no, sir. Okay, so how you 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 do it as you do it in? I'll keep you on mute. You do it as you do it on a calculator. This is his target. Okay. And I want to know what is his 80% of the target. So I'll say equal to, I'll select his target. I'll say into, into that is multiplication. The sign of multiplication in Excel is asterisk. Okay. Into 80%. I'll write 80 and I'll type percentage sign, which is above the number five key. Press the shift button and the five key. And you will get the 80% of the target. I simply copied this and pasted it to the bottom. Okay. Hope you understood. I don't have your name appearing over here. What's your name, sir? My name is Vikas. Okay, Vikas. Hope you understood I got how I got this 80%. Thank you. No problem, Vikas, at your service. Okay, so I, I understood doing it manually that these two guys are eligible. These two guys are not eligible. So let's understand how to do it using a if function because here in this example, I have only four entries. There can be thousands of entries. You can't do it manually every time. Okay, now let's understand how to do using a if function. So if, now what is the logical test? If this is greater than 80% of this, okay? So if, if his achievement, that is I3, is greater than 80% of his target. So his target is 5 lakhs into 80%. Understood? If his achievement, that is in column I, is greater than his 80% of his target. His target is 5 lakhs. 80% of his target. So this value will come over here. 80% 4 lakh will come over here and it will check whether 3 lakh 25,000 is greater than 4 lakh. Okay. If yes, just give tell me eligible. If no, just tell me not eligible. Okay. I'll, I'll make you understand again. Okay. If his achievement is greater than his 80% uh, of his target. So his target is this. 80% of his target would be into 80%. And if yes, give him eligible. If no, give him not eligible and close bracket. So he is not eligible. He is eligible. He is eligible. He is not eligible. If I change this to 4 lakh uh, 5,000, he is again eligible. Okay. Hope you understood how to get uh, figures using a formula in an if function. Any questions before we move on to nested if? Hello. Yeah, yes, sir. Any question? Can you make it four lakh for any employee? Four lakh. Four lakh. Four lakh will yes. also be not exactly. eligible. Four lakh is also not eligible. Why? Because what I have said, I need greater than. I never said equal greater to. Than. Equal to. 
If equal I say to, greater okay. than equal to, then he is eligible. If okay, I go, okay. if I remove this okay. greater than, if I remove this equal to, he is not. Okay, okay. okay. I got it, sir. Thank okay. you. Okay. Any questions? Okay, great. So, guys, uh, we are about to uh, uh, reach forty percent, forty minutes of this session also. So, instead of I starting and uh, interrupting in between, because yesterday is something which I don't want to break in between. Let's why not take a break of two minutes? Because I know there was many functions in this session, so you guys would also be tired mentally. Let's take a uh, break of two minutes. Now it is eight sixteen. Let's meet back by eight eighteen. Okay. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Guys, I've displayed my WhatsApp number on the chat. Please make a note of it and uh, and ping me on my WhatsApp so that I can send you this Excel as well as the recording. And if you are and if you are interested to buy the basic Excel book, you can also buy that. I'll send the link on the WhatsApp if you want. That is only ninety nine rupees. <laughs> Okay, let's start. Okay, now we understood what is normal if. Now let's understand what is nested if. Okay, nested if is uh, where you use more than one if in one single uh, if function. Okay, that is done when you have multiple logical tests to be performed. Okay, now in these example what we have. Okay, suppose uh, we just saw if he is. Uh, Achieving more than eighty percent, he should be eligible for incentive. Now, in this particular example, what it is stating is, if his achievement is greater than or equal to eighty percent, 
give him 1500 rupees as incentive if his achievement is anything between 70% and 79% give him 1000 rupees as incentive and if his achievement is greater than equal to 65% and 69% give him 500 rupees as cash incentive and if his achievement is anything if his achievement is below 65% don't give him anything give him zero rupees okay so now you have understood what is the logical test we have to check for and after the logical test being checked you understood what is the monetary incentive this person should get as per the uh, decide as per the decision taking by the management so let's first do a manual thing here his achievement is 20 i've got the achievement the achievement what i've got is simple this achievement divided by the target and the percentage sign so i've got the achievement now let's do it manually first here the achievement is 25 percent so he should get zero rupees here the achievement is 95 percent so he should get 1500 as incentive here the achievement is 90% and above, 80% and above, so he should get 1,500. Here it is 75%, so he should get 1,000 rupees. Here it is 65%, so he should get 500 rupees because it is greater than or equal to 65, okay? It's just not greater than. And here the achievement is 90, so he should get 1,500 rupees. So this is what we got use, uh, doing a manual calculation, but you can't do a manual calculation if you, you were used to do a manual calculation, what is the use of teaching Excel over here? So let's understand do, using a nested if function. Okay. So I'll first check the first logic. So what is our first logic over here? Our first logic is anything greater than or equal to 80%. Okay. So I'll say his achievement is over here is greater than or equal to 80%. So the first logical test, anything greater than or equal to 80%. If this is true, okay, if this logic is true, give him 1,500 rupees. Now, the question here is why am I not putting this 1,500 in the inverted course? Because I need to calculate the total number of 1,500 afterwards using a function. So if I put it in inverted course, it would be a text. I want that to be in number. That's the reason I'm not putting it in inverted quotes. Okay. Now uh, the first logic, if the first logic is true, give me 1,500. What if the first logic is not true and it's false? If it is false, check for the second logic. So I'll say if function again. Now the second logic is this greater than equal to 70%. As this logic states, greater than equal to 70%. Okay, Excel says, okay, then what if this is true? Give him 1000 rupees. Okay, what if this is false? Check for the third logical test. That is, this is greater than or equal to 65%. If this is true, give him 500 rupees. What if this is not true? Then if this is not true, this is not true, this is not true, just give him zero rupees. And close all the brackets whichever you have opened now i open one two and three ifs so i'm closing three brackets one two and three okay and say enter so as i said here he's getting zero he's getting 1500 he's getting 1500 he's getting thousand he's getting 500 he's getting 1500 if i change this to four lakh twenty five thousand his achievement has changed to 85 percent He's getting 1500 if i change this to 1 lakh 20 000, his achievement has changed to 24 percent so he's getting zero let me uh, uh, explain you again now what is a logical test anything achievement above 80 percent give him it 80 and equal to okay greater than equal to 80 percent give him 1500 any achievement greater than equal to 70 and 79 percent give him 1000 any achievement greater than equal to 65 and 69 give him 500 anything below 65 don't give him anything so how would be a nested if first check the logical test that is achievement this is column d is greater than 80 percent greater than equal to 80 percent give him 1500 if the logical test is false check for the second logical test so we have opened the second if if this achievement is greater than 70%, if this is true, give him 1000 rupees. 
what if this is also false check for the third logical test that is d7 greater than equal to 65% give him 500 rupees if all the three logical tests are false just say comma and zero because i don't want him to give anything or i don't want to check any other logical test and don't forget to close all the brackets for all the ifs so i've opened three ifs i'm closing three brackets and say enter any questions guys in this nested do uh, sir can we write in reverse order is it possible or we can we write in a highest incentive you have to First. do it in the uh, descending order only highest to lowest not lowest to highest, highest to highest okay, to okay 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 so if whenever okay. you are doing the highest to lowest then only the criteria would be checked properly from a particular range if you go from lowest okay, to highest okay that's a perfect uh, so if mm -hmm. it's lowest to highest you, the excel will not understand what exactly okay okay thank you sir uh, thank you sir no problem deepak any questions okay now let's move on to the last example for today so here the example is same as what we have done here but here we had the figure that is 1500 1500 okay here we don't have the figure this remains same here what the management had decided to give him 25% of the volume done so the volume done is 475000 give him 25% give him 20% if he falls in this bracket give him 10% if he falls in this bracket or give him 0% if he is below 65% so this everything will remain same like we did over here only this thing will change 1000 instead of 1500 we have to put his achievement into 25% achievement into 20% achievement into 10% anyone want to try this in the group Deepak, do you want to give a try? Okay, sir. You can do it. Come on. Tell me. Uh, if, if, uh, first if, logical test. Uh, if uh, D. You say D. Okay. Uh, D19 greater than. D, D19 greater than or equal to 80% means we need to achieve, right? Yes. 80%. Comma. Now then, you're, then you're, no need to eighty. Then here you have twenty-five percent. Twenty-five percent. Twenty-five achieved. Okay. So this that is column C into into twenty-five percent. Right. Percent. So if he is achieving right, right. anything greater than equal to eighty percent, give him twenty-five percent of whatever he has of the achieved. Ah, volume done. Volume done as in the achievement. Volume done. Okay. okay comma if this then is comma if if this is false if d if uh, d 19 greater than equal to comma greater than equal to uh, 70 plus equal to 70 percent comma the uh, achieved into 20 percent right if this is also false then if Check for the last logical test. If check for the if this is comma, greater than equal to sixty five percent. Sixty percent. Sixty five. Sixty five. Okay. Cool. Then give achieved ten percent of his achievement. into ten percent of the achievement. Right. If Else, all the, if all these logical tests are false, just give him zero rupees and zero close, and close all the three if. Okay. Okay. Enter. Paste, 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 paste. Okay, so he has achieved 95%. So uh, as per 25% of 4 lakh 75, let's check 4 lakh 75, 25% is 118,750. So we have got the right answer. Here also he should get 25%. So 1 lakh 6,250. Here also we have got the right person. So here it's 10% of 3 lakh 25 is 32,500. 3 lakh 45 is 34,500, 10%. Again, everything is working properly. Let's try to change figures here. It's one lakh twenty thousand. So his achievement will fall from ninety-five percent to twenty percent. He's getting zero. Okay, great. So you understood how to use a nested if if you have a value and if you have to calculate on your own. Any questions, guys? Uh, sir, in in condition, mm -hmm. uh, why you can write? 
uh, incentive 70% to 79% and 65% to 69% yeah that's because here i am saying it's greater than equal to 80% that means this is the first lab okay the second lab would be greater than equal to 70% till till what till 79 so from 70 anything between 70 to 79 it's the second slab that's the reason it is written 79 okay. to 79 but that's okay your management can decide you don't if you say 70% also that is also fine but it is understood okay. that if first slab is greater than equal to 80% and the second slab is starting from 70% then it will end till 79 only it will not it will not consider okay. the 80%. so that is that is a simple logic which we need to apply which uh, we need to understand when something needs to be done in excel okay sir uh, please clear one another thing yeah tell me now uh, when uh, when we use the in function inverted commas inverted commas when you want to when you want an answer yeah the result to be shown as a text like yes no text. eligible not eligible okay. that is a text Okay, okay, which which okay. needs to be displayed, then you put it in inverted commas. Okay, but you want to uh, okay. put numbers like this. These are numbers which I then need to yes. calculate. Then you don't keep a inverted comma. Then it it okay. Excel understand that these are numeric values where there is no inverted commas required. As well as when you are entering functions, when you are entering formulas. Now this is a formula, which can't be kept in a inverted comma. If you keep this formula in a inverted comma. excel will assume that this is a text which you want to display okay so you want whenever you want to display a text you put it in inverted commas if you don't want to display a text put it in without inverted commas that are that are numbers okay 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 uh, sir uh, excel is a vast hmm? and uh, perfect uh, excel is a vast app uh, but i uh, i can say that ke It in professional, professional yeah, in office officially use. It is enough for us. See the Excel which I uh, taught you today is I can't say it's enough, but this is the journey started for you. Okay, in Excel, this is a journey started where you can now start doing some basic things in Excel rather than doing it manually. Okay, Excel is very okay. vast. I have advanced courses. I have three advanced courses. after doing those advanced courses you can say okay now i know excel properly now i can do anything in excel okay okay so uh, can you can i say how many percentage i can teach of the excel like uh, 10% of this or 20% i said i i'll say i have you have learned 60% of ex basic excel today basic excel ha huh? basic excel basic okay excel. okay basic excel you have learned 60% today but this only in if you practice this you will make you will be perfect it's not just one webinar is okay you have to keep on practicing then only you will be well versed with the 60% also okay 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 you can attend my free webinars every week okay every week i conduct free webinars it's nothing like that that you have attended today you can't attend it the next week so you can attend in next week uh, uh basic web uh, basic excel classes or advanced or basic, advanced starter basic, advanced balanced basic are free which is every week you can attend it for free advanced is also every week you can attend it by paying this amount and if you want to know more i'll you just whatsapp me i'll show i'll tell you what are the topics covered in two days what are the topics covered in three days and what are the topics covered in four days okay okay and and Thank this you. is also this is also guys you pay it once and you can attend it for lifetime okay it's not that you pay it once you attend it once but you don't got you didn't get what i was trying to tell you or you still wanted those same things to be explained again and again you can attend the same batch again in the next week without paying anything okay so it's just payment of once and attending for a lifetime both free and the advanced Okay guys uh, next we can uh, you repeat the same lecture next see tomorrow is a free webinar again what we did today and from wednesday 
the advanced course starts wednesday thursday friday saturday four days is the advanced course every week so monday tuesday is free and from wednesday to saturday is paid uh, tomorrow's timing tomorrow timing 7 o'clock 7 o'clock same same, uh, same time same okay. time okay 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 Thank so you. any questions deepak you are most welcome nabil any questions deepak abdullah arshad vikas uh, shivang No, no, sir. Uh, you sharing this video uh, through practice, sir. I'll give you this practice Excel also, and I'll share you the mm -hmm. recording of this video also. But please ping me on my WhatsApp number. I don't okay. have your numbers. Okay, I'll share you uh, on the WhatsApp numbers. Can't hear you. Can't hear you. Anything, Deepak? Uh, I need the content of the on starter balance list. Yeah, I can. I'll I'll give you all the content on the. Wait, yeah. I'll I'll show you over here only. Wait, I'll just share that screen. Just hold on. so guys this was the basic excel what we done today okay so we completed all these topics today okay now this is the starter where you will learn v lookup function h lookup index and match pivot table sum if sum if count if count ifs uh, concatenate function text to column consolidation round function so this uh, this is a starter advanced excel starter which cost only 499 lifetime okay you get the practice excel you get the recording uh, you will also get the training material everything okay this is the starter this is the balance where all the topics in a starter is there that would be covered for first two days and then what if analysis data validation filters slices case special options date functions subtotal functions and options and rank functions so these this is for 799 this is a three day topic so wednesday thursday is for starter uh the third day is all these courses and the last is experience when you when you do the experience course you can say that i know almost everything about excel okay so all the starter topics for two days the balance topic and macros charts dynamic charts donut charts and how to protect your excel file uh, using a password everything would be covered in this advanced experience course so these are three advanced course for now this the cost of this is 999 this happens every week if you guys are interested you can whatsapp me i'll send you the payment link you can make the payment and book your seats arshad thank you so much thank you so much for your kind words arshad thank you sir so guys uh, please ping me on my whatsapp and let me know if you guys are interested for the advanced course also and guys if you really find this very useful please refer this program to your friends and family i have a referral program also where you also get chance to earn when you refer someone to this program okay if for more details you can visit my website that is www.getperfecteducations dot com okay you can visit this website also for more details on the referral program okay i hope you provide any other courses uh as of now as of so now do you provide any other courses as of now it's only as of now it's only excel uh i have a i have a plan of starting powerpoint also and i have a, a plan of starting few more courses because few other trainers are also going to join with me Uh, we are making a we are making it big all the webinars because if you see Udemy, Byju's and all those uh, training, they will only send you videos. They they will interact with you. So if you have any doubts, you have to either email them or either WhatsApp them. They will answer at your convenience at their convenience. 
so this is what different we are trying to do where there will be online webinars but uh, sir okay. any uh, accounting webinars accounting software webinars conduct no future? not as not in future maybe so be in touch with me follow me on my social media handles so that you guys are up to date what it is what sir, i am going to do next so uh, social media sir your contacts like gmail or social media accounts you uh, let me share you please uh, ping me on my whatsapp i'll share you everything okay Then, ping me uh, ping me on this WhatsApp. whatsapp number i have uh, nabil i have given the whatsapp number just uh, say hi on that whatsapp number and your name i'll tell you everything i'll give you links of everything okay sir kindly uh, again share your number i'll give share it okay 9833091822 uh ek just um, and the country code is okay. plus 91 okay i will send you a text okay please do that i'll share you everything guys okay thank you okay guys thank you so much for joining me it was wonderful talking with you guys deepak i would like to see you in my advanced excel courses also so uh, be a part of my group So there are few people who are very close to me. So be a okay. part of that group. So thank you so much. You guys okay, were simply okay. wonderful guys. Yeah. Thank you.